Hello everybody, this is Avalio. Uh, now I'm going to present a journal article in trends in mobile technology supported collaborative learning systematic review of journal publications from 2007 to 2016. This is uh, one of uh, Professor Kojuan, which is published on 2018 and computer and education journal. The outline for my presentation, introduction, research question, research method, research results, discussion, conclusion, and finally, suggestion for further research. Introduction, in practical education and research activities, collaborative learning has received great emphasis from educators and research researchers for more than half a century. In the 1970s, collaborative learning was used extensively in all subjects in both in-class and out-of-class, traditional and non-traditional learning scenarios and kindergarten and graduate institutes. Slavoni, 1996, analyzed numerous empirical studies on collaborative learning and found that group targets, individual responsibility and group interaction are the essential factors of promoting learning achievement. And another study conducted on 2001 analyzed 12 articles on the effects of learning achievement. There were no consistent opinion on whether homogeneous or heterogeneous grouping lead to better performance in terms of improving students' grades. Some researchers have focused on comparing the effects of different collaborative learning strategies. So it can be found that collaborative learning is a very complex teaching activity because group target interaction model, grouping members, grouping members, and collaborative learning strategies are all important factors affecting collaborative learning. Therefore, it is necessary to examine the educational functions and values through systems. Learning in an environment with mobile technologies has aroused the interest of educators and researchers. This study defined mobile collaborative learning as a learning approach using mobile device and wireless technology anytime and anywhere to achieve certain learning target in a group. So the previous uh, reviews uh, conducted in this study, two uh, reviews addressed. The first one is Su and Ching 2017. They identified nine articles and found that the main participants in these studies were K to 12 students and the three to five people were grouped together. The most frequently used mobile device were personal digital assistants, and the main issues investigated were learning performance, engagement, participation, and interaction. Song 2014 reviewed the methodological issues in the research domain of mobile computer-supported collaborative learning and found that there was an increasing trend of exploring collaborative learning issues in an authentic learning environment. But there was a lack of instruments to examine the process of collaborative learning. However, no review paper has been conducted to investigate the trends of mobile collaborative learning from a global perspective based on a theoretical framework. Research questions. During 2007 to 2016, what is the distribution amount and research methodology of mobile collaborative learning? What are, second, what are the learning device and learning environments for mobile collaborative learning? Compared to the first period, what is the development trend in the second period? What are the participants, subjects, and measurements issues for mobile collaborative learning compared to the first period, what is the developing trend in the second period? 
Four, what is the collaborative group constitution and application status of collaborative strategies? Five, what is the relationship between mobile collaborative learning strategies and measurement issues? And what are the features of collaborative learning strategy in the mobile collaborative learning scenarios? Research method, term definitions, collaborative learning strategies defined as learning together, team game, tournaments, jigsaw, team assisted individualization, or student term, team achievement division, or cooperative integrated reading and composition, or academic controversy, think fair share, peer learning, and group discussions. Another uh, term is ubiquitous learning. It is anywhere and anytime learning using mobile and wireless communication technologies. One, 2008. Collaboration is uh, two or more team members engaging in activities. Process of data searching and collection. Searching articles using the following keywords from Web of Science. Mobile learning or ubiquitous learning, collaborative or cooperative, or collaboration or cooperative. So based on this uh, searching key term, what 112 articles identified, and based on inclusion criteria, 19 articles were identified for further analysis. So this is the distribution of uh, mobile collaborative learning from 2007 to 2016. So you can see that the number is of per papers published on this area is increasing. Coding scheme and process. So in order to analyze those papers, uh, they identified seven coding schemes. The first one is codes for learning device and learning environment. Second, codes for research participants and subjects. Three, con codes for measurement issues. Four, codes for collaborative group constitution. And this has also sub codes, period of time for a group, group size, and group members. Five, codes for collaborative learning strategies. Six, codes for research method. And the last is codes for research domain. Research results. Current status and trends of research distribution, quantity and the method. This section demonstrates the overall current status and developing trend in the mobile collaborative learning research from 2007 to 2016, including the research domain distribution, quantity and research method. So figure three indicates research domain distribution of mobile collaborative learning. So uh, software development, instruction and learning, survey activities and other, these are research domain. So if we consider uh, software development in the first and the second uh, time interval, all of them are the same. Uh, blue indicates uh, the first period, from 2007 to 2011. Orange indicates the second period, 2012 to 2016, and the gray one is the sum. So instruction and learning research domain is the most dominant one in the second period. When we see uh, research methods in mobile collaborative learning, quantitative and mixed method is the dominant one in the second period, whereas qualitative method is not this much. Uh, frequently used research method compared to the others. Current status and trends of learning device and environment. Figure five indicates mobile devices used in mobile collaborative learning. Uh, wearable devices in the first and in the second uh, period, there is 
no wearable device used in collaborative mobile learning. Uh, smartphones, special in the second period. Tablet, computer in the second period. They are frequently used learning device, mobile device. Whereas traditional portable computers are most frequently used in the first period. When we see learning environment of mobile collaborative learning, classroom or laboratory setting, these are uh, the most frequently used learning environment. Next, museum, library, historical building, ecological areas, zoos and gardens are also the most frequently used learning environment, especially in the second period. Developing trend of research participant subject and measurement issues. Research participants. Uh, in the second period, the most frequently addressed research participants is elementary school, junior and senior high school, and higher education. Whereas teachers and working adults are not considered as uh, the most important research participants. When we see uh, subjects, so the distribution and close rate of learning subjects in mobile collaborative learning indicates that social science and so social science or social studies and language are the most frequently stated uh, subjects. Whereas when we see the measurement issues, learning performance, especially the cognitive one, correlation or cause and effect analysis and learning behavior or engagement are the most frequently uh, focused learning outcomes in these studies. Current status of collaborative learning group constitution and strategy, strategy application, group member selection aspect, 27 studies which did not specify how to select learners to constitute a learning group. Eight studies adopted random grouping. Ten studies adopted heterogeneous. One study adopted homogeneous. And several studies adopted other grouping strategy like portfolio based grouping. So it can be found that random grouping still occupied a great portion of the research. But when researchers or teachers wanted to group students based on a certain trait, heterogeneous grouping was frequently used. Regarding group size, 17 studies did not report that their group size. 17 studies used small group. Seven studies used medium. Seven studies used large group size. And eight studies used mixed group size. Regarding group duration, most studies adapted to formal group some study adopted informal group and few studies adopted base group. So what is formal group? Formal group is a group that lasted for one session to seven weeks. Informal group is temporary group and for short period of time. Base group is long-term collaborative learning, which lasts for a semester or a year. Collaborative learning strategy adopted in uh, target literature. Distribution of cooperative learning strategy in mobile collaborative learning indicated that most studies used conceptual cooperative learning strategies, including learning together, group investigation, peer learning, group discussion, and academic controversy. Also, about 10 studies used structured cooperative learning strategies. Relation between collaborative learning strategies and measurement issues. Table 4 indicates cooperative learning strategy adopted in developing learners' cognition. So, in order to develop this uh, conceptual cooperative learning strategy, is the dominant one. Some of the strategies used were 
learning together, peer learning, group investigation, and academic controversy group discussions. Also, there were some uh, collaborative learning strategies used in structured cooperative approach. When we see a uh, table five, a uh, cooperative learning strategy adopted for developing learning skills. So only conceptual cooperative learning skills were used to develop learners skills. Table six indicates cooperative learning strategies adopted to develop learners higher order skills. From this, we can see that again, conceptual cooperative learning is the most dominant one using learning together, peer learning, academic controversy, group discussion, group investigation as collaborative learning strategies. Only jigsaw method was used to improve students' higher order skills in structured cooperative learning. Table seven indicates cooperative learning strategies adopted to develop learners' collaboration and communication. Similarly, most studies used conceptual cooperative learning to develop learners' collaboration and communication. Discussion. Research distribution, quantity, and methods. As one 2008 pointed out, the value and the potential of integrating mobile device and collaborative learning in the past decades, especially in the recent five years, the educational value of collaborative learning in mobile learning environment has received increasing impact. Survey research began to be popular in the past five years, but Kimmer et al. 2016 believes that to deeply understand the emerging phenomena of mobile learning, it is necessary to consider not only the quantitative method, but also the qualitative method and mixed method. Learning device and environment. Mobile device, smartphones, and tablet computers are the device which were technologically devised with new technology, which were used widely in the second half of 10 years. And mobile collaborative learning activities conducted outside of the classroom went greatly beyond the conducted inside the classroom. So this indicates that the development of learning device is closely linked to the development of learning environment. So the study conducted by Klopper and others portrayed the unique education affordance of PDA mobile device, meaning that portability, so social interactivity, context sensitivity, connectivity, and individuality can be better supported and presented on new device. Besides, it also boosted the shift in mobile collaborative learning activity from conventional classroom to real living scenario. Research participant subjects and measurement issues. From the research participant aspect, little research was conducted on teachers and working adults. Researchers have pointed out that cultivating and elevating teachers' educational practice of technology is equally important to developing their professionalism. In terms of research subject aspect, there is little research on art or design, business and management, health, medical or nursing, and mathematics. But mobile collaborative learning in this subject will still be of great educational value. In terms of distribution and development of research issue, little attention was paid to the issues of higher order skill, learning performance, self-efficacy, confidence or anticipation performance, cognitive load and learning anxiety. The reason may be that the cultivation of skills and higher order skills need a longer time and measurement, measuring the ability needs proper tool and approach. 
group composition and strategy application. In terms of group member selection, most research use the heterogeneous grouping method, but no research group student based on cognitive styles or learning style. It was found that most research adopted different group member selection strategy, but the difference was not examined. In the arrangement of group size, some researchers believe that four people in a group is the most ideal group size because it allows pair work and hence encourage active participation. However, it was found that researchers in the mobile collaborative learning domain usually adopt two to three people in a group. From the group duration period, most research adopted formal group, little research adopted an informal group design and base group design. Collaborative learning strategies. Conceptual cooperative learning strategies constituted the majority of the mobile collaborative learning activities. This is because the mobile collaborative learning activities mostly conducted outside of the classroom. Learning tasks were unstructured, teaching method were more student centered, and mobile learning devices were beneficial to improving social interaction among peers. Cooperative learning strategies for measuring issues. Most researchers adopted conceptual cooperative learning strategies rather than structured cooperative learning strategies because in cooperative concept, conceptual cooperative learning strategies activities, students in group would try to achieve mutual learning goal and shoulder corresponding responsibilities. Based on uh, the findings, the researchers form a conceptual framework of mobile collaborative learning based on social constructivism. So social constructivism believes that knowledge can be constructed through social interaction. So learners in a group using mobile technology in conducive environment and appropriate collaborative learning strategy, they can learn, they can construct knowledge. So this uh, conceptual framework of mobile collaborative learning is important for further study conclusion. The educational affordance of mobile collaborative learning and demonstrated in this study such as supporting ubiquitous learning, guiding by diverse cooperative strategies, more interpersonal social interaction, facilitating context-based learning, cultivating self-regulated learning and self-reflection, and fostering cross-cultural interaction. In sum, mobile collaborative learning is a potential learning mode, mode to facilitate knowledge acquisition Meta cognition skill and epistemological belief via engaging students in learning collaboratively. It is worth investigating the impact of mobile collaborative learning in different contexts and from various perspectives with emerging technologies. It is also important to reinforce the researcher on the process of learning, knowledge construction, as well as their perception and behaviors in collaborative learning process. Suggestion for future research. It is important to investigate the impact of those innovative technologies such as wearable device to measure students' learning performance and behaviors from different aspects. Second, in addition to considering the need of students, it is also important to investigate how collaborative mobile learning approach can benefit teachers and working adults. Three, little research was conducted related to art or design, business and management, health, medical or nursing and mathematics. So it is also suggested that mobile collaborative learning approach to this subject explore in the future. Or it is suggested that future research could take 
those seldom consider personal factors such as learning style or cognitive style into account. Five, investigation of students' long-term mobile collaborative learning performance and behavior is another important search issue to be highlighted since few studies have been conducted using long-term activities. Six, while adopting structured cooperative learning strategies, it is challenging and important to incorporate additional strategies to assist students in establishing mutual group goals and learning responsibilities in groups. Thank you.